So here we are in one of the cave locations. So we've got a, we've got a compass here. So here is, let's see if I can get this in here. So here is the big entrance and there's a fig tree covering across it. It's very beautiful. Over here we've got our cave formations, the stalactites and stalagmites. Cave entrance and then the opposing wall. Over here we've got another, the, the giant window that clearly had um, rock piled up higher closing it off. Um, and then above, so here's, here's the roof of the cave. And here is the open area in the middle. There's a fire in the middle. It doesn't look like there ever was anything covering the front of the cave. So here we've got our compass. So if you notice, so um, we have east. So here's east. And then the area where everything collapsed is west. So there's light that possibly comes in part of the day from the east, part from the west. That's quite interesting. The Qibla is facing this, this way toward the east a bit. So it looks like uh, southeast. North is directly behind me. So again, we've got east. So sunrise, west, sunset. Now remember, this back wall was partially covered because all this, all this, this rock that tumbled down from some kind of earthquake activity or earth shifting or, or erosion, clearly it, it may have come from the top or above, but it may have, it, it looks like it sheared off of the rock face here on, on, on the sides. So I'm not, I'm not certain about this, but it's interesting. So this is something for us to consider. And also some rock may have been taken out by locals at different points for building materials. Um, so we, we, we just never know. I like that there's a fig tree here at the entrance because clearly the fig tree is very important in biblical material as well as in Quranic material. In Hadith, it's said to be one of the, the fruits of paradise. Uh, there's a whole surah called, called the Surah of the Fig. Um, it's spoken of by Isa alayhi salam um, uh, within the text that we have from him. It's a very significant fruit. It, 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 it is related to fertility, to unity, to truth. Um, it's, it has a lot of symbolic val value. It was eaten by uh, primates since very ancient time. it's, times. It's a very excellent food for nomads because you can take it great distances. It's, it's excellent, fresh. You can, you can use it for, for many, many different, uh, you know, cooking, and you can prepare it into a jam. Um, anyway, it's, it's excellent. So we have a fig tree here covering the whole front of the cave. And I just thought I would share that with you and give you something to think with. This is at the, the cave site at Ephesus here in Western Anatolia in Western Turkey. Um, so now we will go and see the official section, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.